It's been a while. How have you been? I haven't been here in a while, huh? I almost feel a little bit embarrassed. Phew! I can finally take a break. Oh, that's right. Listen to this. I joined an organization recently, and the members are all really interesting. They've all got super unique and quirky personalities. One guy is a robot that seems like the epitome of dignity, and at first glance he seems stubborn and hard to get close to. But he loves busty blondes, and he totally changes how he talks when the subject comes up. <laughs> I laughed so hard the first time I heard that. If I told him I know someone in Leanbox who's a busty blonde, I'm sure he'd light up and bite the hook. <laughs> There's one other person who's also a robot. And he's a ninja. I couldn't help getting excited, and I tried to talk to him by yelling, Hi! Ninja, why? It looks like he's not very good at talking to girls, so the conversation went nowhere. He seems really skilled, though, so I wanted to learn some cool ninjutsu from him. Oh, I know! If he's not good with girls, maybe I could disguise myself as a guy. What do you think? What? You really think it won't work? Then maybe if he dresses up as a girl. Hmm. I should get away from disguises entirely? Oh, man, it's all ready this time. I have to put that girl back in my book. Sorry for suddenly barging in again. I hope you'll still let me visit after this. Oh, that's right. Here, as thanks for talking with me, it's a present full of love for you. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> I'll be back.
Hello. Um, so... I found the script for a role that anyone can audition for. I wanted to run through it a few times so I could help my friend practice, but, um, can you please help me read through it? I'm sure reading through the script with someone else would help. I won't take no for an answer. I'll be reading the role of the Demon King that talks to my... friend's character. I looked over the script earlier, and this scene seems to be one of the highlights of the story. It's important we work on this one, okay? Let's begin. <sighs> All right. I'm ready. Here I go. Uh, well, it's not for me. This is going to be my friend's role. <laughs> it is I, the god of darkness, Chaos Obsidian! I... I feel it. My eyes are aflame with my supreme overlord vision. The full moon has doubled my spiritual energy, and my inner darkness overflows! I will send her this ring, sealing the pact and making her a member of my Nightmare Crusaders! We were together in our past lives. With this, that sacred bond will come to life once again! Ugh, why are you acting so weird about it? You're going to make me feel embarrassed. <clears throat> Give me a second to gather myself. In my hands, I wield the demonic sword Durandal and the sword of darkness Dainsleaf. And in my grasp, the Dark Moon Shrine Princess, the resurrection of the Demon King, Super Satan, is. Oh dear. <sighs> Shoot. I can't act if I'm embarrassed. But it's really hard to read such genuine and unfiltered trash. Oh, listen to me. Saying that just proves how bad of an actress I really am. Watch. I'll be... Uh, my friend, I mean... I have to read this seriously so I can help my friend really get into her role. You're still gonna help me with it, right? <laughs> Thank you! I feel like...
like things got a little carried away, but today was fun. I'm gonna get going now. I'll be back real soon, promise. See you later! The audition results are in! I got a character that wasn't the real hammy one! It's a small role, but it's still my debut. Thank you so much! I was able to get it with your help! I've been taking good care of my voice. I'm taking a lot of cough drops and wearing masks when I go out. I even bought a humidifier! It's my tool of the trade now. I've got to keep it safe. Also... Uh, that story about my friend, the aspiring VO, it was a lie. I'm sorry. It was really about me. I was the one who wanted to be a voice actor. At first I was too embarrassed to tell the truth, but you most likely figured it out anyway. Or did this come as a surprise? <laughs> Figured as much. Thank you for not bringing it up, and for helping me with my practice. Anyway, my audition was accepted, so I guess I'm technically a professional now. Uh, what is it? It's not like I'm overly happy or anything. But all I did was land the role. I'm going to have to practice even more now. Of course, I'll have you help me too. My goddess duties take precedence, and I won't have much time, but it doesn't matter. I need to do this. All that's to say, you better be ready, too. <laughs> hmm. Hold on a second. If I come here to practice, we won't have a lot of time to hang out normally. I don't know if I really want that. I take that back. I'm going to work on polishing up my lines more. And then I can run them by you. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, I need to start voice training immediately. I know I've already thanked you, but I really appreciate it. Thanks again. See you soon. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Hi there. I'm here again. Like I mentioned last time, here, I brought you some books from my room. They're all wonderful books, and I'd love for you to read them when you get a chance. I'm gonna put them on your bookshelf, okay? <laughs> With all the books I brought, your bookshelves filled out quite nicely. It's amazing, no matter how many times I see it, when a bookshelf has been filled, so has my heart. <sighs> Looking at my favorite things always calms me down. Before I came over here, I was with my sisters. They're younger, and they're twins. The one in blue is Rom. She's the quiet one. The one in pink is Ram. She's really energetic. They get mixed up all the time, but Rom is the older one of the two. I'm proud of them both, and they're so cute. Oh, 
I just realized. You must know about both of them by now. They can be a handful sometimes. If I take my eyes off of them for a second, they'll get into trouble. I'm busy all day, so I'm not always able to look after them. It's understandable that they'd get into mischief here and there, but... I just don't have a lot of time to hang out with them. But besides that... I'm not the most outgoing individual in the world, so it's hard for me to take the initiative. So, even if they get into a little mischief, I almost welcome it, as long as they're doing something with me. But, I will get angry if they end up drawing on any of my important documents. I'm not really great at leading people, but it brings me so much happiness to know Ralm and Ram rely on me. Player, does it make you happy to know someone relies on you, even if you're not a leader? It's nice, isn't it? It helps when it's someone you know well. It encourages you to be a better person. I feel better knowing that you feel the same way I do. I'm... <laughs> glad. Oh, I apologize. Somehow, this turned into me confiding in you. I... I don't have a lot of people I can talk to about this. I have Neptune and the other goddesses, but I don't know. They're more like rivals. Even though we spur each other on to be better fighters, I don't think we ever just talk about our feelings. Oh, wait. What in the world am I saying? I'm really sorry. I guess I'll head home for today. I feel like I just kept on talking, but I'm glad you were here to listen. Um, thanks for spending so much time with me today. I appreciate you a lot. Oh, hello, player. After the last time I left, I was thinking about the way that I'd been acting around you. It wasn't my usual self. Um, people usually tell me that I'm a little rough around the edges, so I guess I wanted to try being more polite is all. And I heard that you were a being who could interact with lots of dimensions. So, I was nervous about the kind of person you'd be. But, as I talked to you, I realized you're not that different from us. All of this to say, I don't think I should try and force being so polite. Because, all I really want is to just become a closer friend to you. Player, I'm going to try and act more like myself. I want to be more comfortable around you, so I'd appreciate it if you would just act like yourself around me, too. So, let's be friends. I know. I've been meaning to ask you, but the timing never works out. 
player, can I register you to my Our Tomo collection? It's a game where you can register your friends as avatars and watch them interact with each other. It might sound kind of boring, but it's actually pretty fun. The game has a lot of elements, but the number one selling point is how these artificial relationships can form all on their own. To give an example using my data, Neptune and Noir, the comedian and the realist, have pretty much switched roles in game. The usual scenario is, of course, Noir is really serious and naive, and Neptune just cracks a lot of jokes while helping people. Vert has... <laughs> formed a weird comedy duo with Uzume, and they practice their routines up on a roof. <laughs> as for my avatar, she recently debuted as an idol, and she performs and sings while wearing a squid costume. I'm really terrible at performing in front of people, so watching it makes me feel pretty strange. Now that I've explained it, is it okay if I registered you as a resident too? Thank you. Okay then, I'll do it when I get home. I'll make your face look super realistic, too. Anyway, today... I brought this card set with me, 100 Poems Special Edition, although I think it's more commonly known as Karuta. It's a beautiful game. But the content of the poems might be a little different from the ones you have in your world. I think the rules might be the same, though. Just so you know, this isn't just any old card game. And it's much more than a simple memory game. It might not be in book form, but it's a proper collection of beautiful poetry. Poetry has a way of holding the emotions of its author in the scenes it portrays. By analyzing them, we can infer a deeper meaning that exists well beyond the words. Also, whether or not you're able to understand a poem makes all the difference as to whether you can memorize them easily or not. Let me read you my favorite one in this collection. <clears throat> For your precious sake, once my eager life itself was not dear to me. This poem is about a sacrificial kind of love. The speaker in it loves the person they're talking to very much. But I relate most to this part. But now it is my heart's desire that long, long years it may endure. It means, even though meeting was beautiful in itself, it isn't enough. They'd like to stay together for all eternity. W what? What's with the face? If you make a good friend, or have a sister, it's just normal to want to cherish that relationship. Wait, are you trying to say this phrase doesn't suit me? Hmm. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not the type to make jokes like that. That was new for me. <laughs> it's kind of strange. You know, when I'm with you, I... Um, well, I'm gonna go home now.
You know, come to think of it, I never taught Ram and Ram 100 poems. I think I'll play with them using simple rules when I get back. See ya. Oh, h hello. Um, I'm uh, a little sleepy today. Um, is it strange to see me like this? You're staring an awful lot. Oh boy, it feels kind of weird. Oh, um. Oh, you're so mean. I hate you. <laughs> oh. I lied. I don't hate you. The thing is, I've been so busy lately that I haven't been resting well. But I managed to finish everything I was working on. It's okay now. Oh. Nothing happened back home in the Wii. Everything is okay there. It's nothing you need to worry about, okay, player? Um, the work I was talking about was kind of personal, I guess. Maybe voluntary is a better word. But anyway, it's nothing a goddess like me can't handle. I'm fine, so... Ugh! That was stupid. Sorry to worry you, player. I think I'm more exhausted than I realize. Is it okay with you if I sit down for a minute? Wow, it's so soft. Now I want to lay down. Is that okay? Thank you so much. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, I think it's time I go home for the day. I, I think I'm getting a fever, and I really wouldn't want you to get sick just because of me. I I'll, I'll come back when I feel better. Goodbye. Hi, how are you? Uh, about last time. I'm sorry to worry you. As you can see, I'm not so tired today. I'm feeling much better. I bet you're wondering what's in the envelope, huh? I don't know if I should tell you.
Well... Just don't laugh at me, all right? Um... This is actually... something I've been working on for a while. It's a light novel. Do you remember when I said I was really busy? Well, it's because I've been staying up late writing this. Well, Louis confers a Winter Forest Novelist Award a few times a year for new writers, and I've been wanting to submit. Of course, I've been chipping away at my story here and there for a while now. But the story in this setting slowly started to change. When I realized the deadline was nearing, I just couldn't sleep anymore. I would stay up all night long working on my story, but... Uh, um, this might be a weird question for me to ask, but do you think I have what it takes to become a great writer? I think you have a good understanding of who I am now, so I want your honest opinion, player. Really? <laughs> Hearing you say that gives me the confidence I need to keep writing. And I know it's tough. But even if the path is difficult, if you don't believe in yourself, you'll never be able to live the life you want for yourself. If I start to worry about what other people think of me or my work, well, I just can't think about that. It's irrelevant. What's important is that I do what makes me happy. I can't forget about that, even when it gets difficult. <laughs> that sounds like something a protagonist would say, doesn't it? So, I have a little request for you. I want to let this story breathe for a little bit. If it's okay with you, I'll leave the envelope here for now. If I take it home, I know I'm going to want to tweak some minor details. I feel like I shouldn't look at it for a few days because it feels good right now. I am hoping that the next time I look at it, I can add some magic to it. I feel like taking a break from the writing will give me some good ideas for it. Oh, please, don't mention this to Neptune or the others. I really, really don't want them to know about this. Please don't tell them. I guess it's time to go. I'll just leave it right here. And keep it a secret, okay? See ya. Well, hello. So, when I went home last time, I tried a lot of things to get some new ideas going. I tried spending some time in nature, tried fighting monsters nonstop, played in the snow with Rom and Ram. I even tried making different kinds of sweets. Thanks to that, I have some good ideas now. Someone once said that nothing ever becomes real until it is experienced. 
That's true, isn't it? So, here. These sweets I made. Well, they're as real as it gets. It's a simple cookie called boule de neige. It's French for snowball. I don't know if I made them right, but I'd like you to try one, if you don't mind. Anyway, I wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at with my novel. It's definitely a work in progress. I've decided on the world and characters, but... I'm having some trouble with the story. I've got a bit of an idea for it. But I can't seem to get it down. Hmm. I know. Can I run it by you? I think this will really help. Sorry to put you on the spot like this. I'll tell you what I've been thinking about so far. <clears throat> the legendary Dragon Knight Orlando was summoned by the deity Overoniana, overseer of the Divine and Demon Realms. His quest is to save both realms. It's part high fantasy, part action. And during his travels, he fights alongside other legendary warriors, also summoned by Overoniana. I'm still thinking of what kind of crisis the realms are in, but the first friend Orlando makes is Olivier of the Divine Realm. She's the daughter of King Vidrier and is an excellent magic user. She's righteous and straightforward, but the fact that she can't be honest with herself is detrimental at times. <laughs> There's someone close to me that's quite similar. The second friend they encounter is named Noma. She resides in the demon realm, but has no special powers per se. On the other hand, she's highly intelligent and gives Orlando a lot of support. She's different from Olivier in that she's much more calm. She gets jealous easily, however, and she can act a little cold sometimes. Noma is also the daughter of the Demon King, but since she has no powers, she was thrown out of the castle by her father, so she wouldn't be caught up in all of the drama or struggles of deciding an heir. The third person is Sebastian. You might have guessed from the name, but he's a butler. Because the Demon King is a bit of a helicopter parent, he sent Sebastian as both a butler and a bodyguard. He's highly loyal to the Demon King and to Noma. He's a lighthearted person, but he's also very sharp and does a lot of things in the shadows. Uh... Hmm. Talking about this out loud is making me think. Um, I feel like the thing I want to focus on most is... Could it be the characters? The plot is full of holes, but I find the characters really interesting. In my mind, they aren't bound to this story. They have their own free will and act accordingly. I just want to see what they end up doing. Instead of forcing a plot onto them, maybe I should just let their personalities dictate where the story goes. Do you think that's a good idea? We have similar tastes, don't we?
I feel more convinced now. <sighs> It'll be a long and winding road to becoming a famous author if I keep this up. I'll start working on these problem areas as soon as I get home. I have new ideas, too. I think I'm gonna go home right away and start working. You know, I wasn't really sure if I should come see you today or not, but I'm glad I did. I feel like you got me out of the rut that I was in, too. I'd like to thank you, so... Thanks. <laughs> see ya. Hi there, player. Wait, why are you staring at me like that? I'm just kidding. You can always see right through me, can't you, player? I have been laboring over my manuscript since the last time I was here, but it's just not working out. No matter how many different ways I think about it, it's not going where I want it to go. I've been feeling depressed. Sometimes I hear people say that you shouldn't let your head get in the way of what you're thinking. But then, what am I supposed to think with? Uh, hey! What gives? What are you looking at? My... heart? Oh, you're saying I should feel instead of think. I have read so many books. I couldn't even tell you how many I've read in my lifetime. And yet, I can't even manage to write one good story. I don't know. Maybe my imagination is just being... stubborn. I'm pretty bad at writing. Um, depictions of romance and love, things like that. I've read a lot of romance novels, but when I try writing scenes like that, I just can't get them right. It feels unnatural. Besides, I'm not even sure of what... of what to write about. By the way... Player, is there someone in your life that... you like? Someone who's... special to you? Oh? Well, I see. Well, that's... interesting. I won't be nosy, I promise. But, um, well, I hope it works out. I might be working on writing a novel, but... Reading a novel and writing one are so very different. Do you remember what I said about doing what makes you happy, even if it gets difficult? I'm not so sure about that anymore. Anyone can write a book, but it takes a real genius to move the world with their pen. I'm not sure I'm that kind of a writer. And right now, 
I can't even manage to get my book in a bookstore, let alone change the world with my writing. I need to open up my world to new experiences if I want anything to change. Maybe, for starters, I can try finding a partner. I'm just kidding. I'm a goddess who rules a nation. It would be a disaster if someone found out. For now, I can research online. No, that's no good. I might get biased knowledge planted in my mind. Looks like time's up. Um, please, don't worry. I'm just stressed. And you can't mention a single word of this to Neptune or to anybody else. I I'll be back soon. See you then.